to uh, open the meeting for the uh, the Newbury Media Advisory Committee on June 27th, and um, we are. Um, what do, do we do? We want to accept the minutes from the previous meeting, and then and then we're going to vote to go into executive session. I'll second it. Okay, discussion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Okay. Um, we, we have a number of items to talk about regarding our negotiations with, the, with Comcast for the, for the uh, new contract that's coming up. And uh, I'll take a, a motion, and apparently we have to um, vote individually on going into executive session. I, I move that we go into executive session. I'll second. Okay. Okay. Um, all in favor? Um, we go Paul Dobbins, all in favor. And we go Robin Williams. Yes. Yes, and we go, Don is a yes, and I'm a yes, and so we will go into executive session, and I'll ask Caleb to uh, turn the camera on for you. Okay, so we, we're out of executive session talking about what we need to do in terms of uh, our negotiation with uh, Comcast for the new contract coming up. Um, and I have, I have for an agenda item um, the, just a, a note about notices and communications to the cable committee. So I, I, have, I have been not checking the media box on a on a regular basis, but um, we but usually get told when there's something important. So, Caleb, maybe every once in a while, take a look at the media box. Yeah, you guys only assign this too. This is like Comcast invoices too. Okay, um, which is paying invoices is is down on the list. So, if, if Caleb, if if between you and Susan, you, you can check on that if there's if there's something that looks like we need to, you know, know about or respond to more quickly, you know, if, if you could, if you could let us know. Um, the the only notices that that were um, were in there was there was there's an old notice about Comcast uh, going to the state um, looking for yeah. some changes. Um, which looks like both a rate increase and, a, and how they charge for uh, equipment. Um, and it's the Department of Telecommunications and Cable that, that grants them that permission. Um, this, this was a hearing that took place in, uh, on, in June. Um, I did contact uh, mass access, the group we belong to that represents um, the various local communities about uh, uh, wanting to keep uh, rates low and reasonable. And um, so we had a notice about that. And the other notice that, that came in, um, and it's to the Board of Selectmen, and then they copy us, is that the Olympics channel um, apparently is going off the air. Uh, and they've increased the cost of self installation kits. Um, so the, those are, I'll, I didn't make coffee sugar, but I'll, I'll pass that around. Did you? Okay. Yeah. 
and and Cal, could do we do we get emails from Mass Access? Does it send out a newsletter? Uh, I haven't been seeing anything. Uh, I haven't seen anything recently. Lately. I'll have to look. Okay. Could you would you just double check with them? Yep. And see if there's something regular that's going out there. Um, and and do we have a uh, do we have a password or something to get on? Yeah, the I have website? one. I'll send you the information. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure that this is all set. So the second item was what we just did. Any immediate uh, invoices and approvals to make, which we'll ask Kayla if there's, if there's anything else we need to approve. And I did three things Susan needed approved. Yep. Do you, do you have a copy of the sent on June 22nd. Okay, so we we have a we have a request from on cable expenditures for um, an external drive for transporting files. Hey, Caleb, yep. do you want to? Um, we, we're looking at the three requests that have been made for expenditures. Um, do you three. mind walking us through three what we're, what we're approved? Oh, okay. Just read to me, that's fine. Right. Yeah. What is it? Is this from? External hard drive. Yeah, I need something. External hard drive. How big? It's a two terabyte. Um, and an SD card reader, because the one I have is broken. Uh, yeah, she, she wants to do something so people can hear it. When they're talking, so like, like people like a podium, yeah, like a podium type microphone kind of thing for them. Uh, so people talk up a little louder. I think because people complain on TV, you can't hear anything. Yeah. So it's yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it would probably make more sense to do everything. I mean, I mean, I mean, to do the whole room. But I probably want to get somebody in here to do that. Okay, is it and is this equipment that can be moved down when yeah. the move is made? Yeah. Okay, and that's and that was how, how much? Was that a hundred? Yeah, the PA system was one hundred ten. It, it's like a little. Yeah. It's like a little ghetto setup. I mean, it's okay. Honestly, okay. 
I'm just kind of humoring. <laughs> okay. Um, but I mean, it will work. I mean, it just for, for here, like I don't think we need to create. Like I don't think we should spend a lot of money on this room. Right. In general. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I'm like, all right, here's a band aid. This will work for now. But we'll, yeah. And it's it's just a little bit north of hundred hundred dollars. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if it doesn't work, I mean, it's it, it should work. But if it, you know, we're not spending a thousand bucks on the system, which I think is good. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the aforementioned expenditures. No second. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay. Um, was there any other requests from Susan? Yeah. Um, she, something about the future. She mentioned the, a drone. The drone? Mm -hmm. But that could be. Well, we were talk. We talked about a little bit like that. Would be kind of. Useful probably for what we're doing, and also for like say the planning board when they're doing like a, if someone's going to do a site, like we can go fly over the site and get their little sh shots and stuff. Like it could be used for not so just here, but it could be used for like town things. Is it a huge need? It's not a huge need, but I think it could be useful, I guess. And I think they're pretty short. Sure well, yeah, Madison's got one that is just an incredible piece of equipment. So I just asked her what she has, yeah. if she like it, and mm -hmm. how it works. And I, it's thirteen hundred bucks for a totally professional yeah. great piece of equipment. That's just something yeah. that we start looking around. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's a great drone for the money. Yeah. I mean you can pick them up for five hundred bucks, but you get what you pay for, but you don't need right. to spend three thousand. You know? yeah. So that's just yeah, a ballpark so that you're gonna be looking at what yeah. they've yeah. seen. Yeah. Exactly. And I have one of the original ones and if you have to fly it with your cell phone and it's like the ghettoest thing ever. <laughs> the new ones are way better. <laughs> This is a new adjective yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not improving that today. Yeah, no. That's something. It's just something we can talk about. Yeah. So let's um, let's let's put this on our on our list as um, for equipment needs because we know um, we know we're going to have to put a list together for for the next contract, and and we know that um, if if we're looking to increase participation in uh, in public access that, that we uh, and with our existing budget we may be making some new uh, some new expenditures mm -hmm. um, so I th I think we need to um, we need to come up with a, a kind of a, a short-term expenditure plan that that says um, these immediate needs. These are these are the things that we, you know, that we know we're going to um, need, for, you know, in, by the end of the year, um, and uh, this is this is where we have some freedom to to be getting whether it's additional laptops, or a drone, or whatever, um, and I and I think I think that as we make those decisions. We just, we just, we need to be cognizant of the, of the fact that uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try to um, get more interest in community programming, and what's the equipment that uh, help with that. that both bring in new eyeballs to the screen, keep people interested, and are easy enough for the semi amateur to be able to use. Um, so I think I think that's a work in progress. Yeah, I think the other thing is talking about a little more man. If we could at least have some person that we could have sporadically do things for us, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that help. Just so, somebody I could rely on because just me now. Yeah. You know, it has been forever. But yeah, and and, they, and I think certainly <laughs> with with the summer we we have we have two two things working for us. There are a lot more community events going on. Yeah. Okay. So, so there's a lot more substance to the, to the, to the production, uh, and these are things that we're going to continue to show, you know, throughout the year. I mean, one of the things about <clears throat> public access is, you know, you're really not competing against, you know, the most popular shows on television because whatever you show, you're going to be showing multiple times, and 
and at different times of the day that by the end of, you know, whatever, a quarter or two or three month period, there'll be, you know, maybe a high percent, 40 percent of the town will have seen some particular show. You know, so I know that, for example, the show that was done on genealogy, okay, now if you measure, you know, how many people are watching it every time you air it, it's not going to be that much. Yeah. But by the time, you know, you, you've shown it, whatever, 20 times over a three month period, yeah. you know, yeah, maybe 30 or 40 percent of the town will have, you know, will have seen that show. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you know, and I think those those have value. So, yeah, during the during the summer, if we have if we have more events and they can continue to show throughout the year, and uh, and if we have more people available, you know, either college students or whatever high school, middle school st students to work on this, um, you know, both that, that can volunteer and work for the chief. I think I think we take advantage of. Yeah. So should we come up with a number for that or what? Um, what why don't we um, Well what's your what's your recommendation? How, yeah, we how, did how, sixty bucks a meeting for the other thing. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know. I think we should figure something out because it's already July. Yeah. Um, I know I know meetings are um, you know, for, for people that are interested in video, you know, are, are, are like punishment, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, yeah, I've been doing it for almost five years. Then. Because, because <laughs> as, as fascinating as government meetings. Oh, that's great. You learn a lot about solar and dogs biting people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you're not looking for help for meetings for the summer, you're looking for... More like just go and get content. Yeah. Because yeah. I can yeah. do the meetings. Yeah. The meetings are, if I can't be here, they just do the camera anyways. It's not well, what, I, I don't want to set up an absolute you know, ironclad policy, but um, I mean, for now, do you, do you want to use the, do you want to use the trite number? Per video? Uh, or, or do you want to, are you looking to do it per project? We could do per hour, or it could be per project. I mean, it's up to you guys. I don't really know. My, they, my projects vary. Yeah, 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 yeah they, they vary, yeah. yeah. And I think you also, you get different degrees. You know, you yeah. have a set of price, but yeah. if you're just or cap it at a certain amount, like yeah. cap it at ten hours at fifteen bucks an hour, seventeen bucks an hour, or maybe seventeen bucks an hour, because then you're after taxes they'll make it like whatever. Contract rate, yeah, they got to pay fifteen percent. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'd maybe do an hourly, and then you cap it at ten hours or something, because the probably should take anything that we're doing in this town should take one ten. But would you be able to say this certain project I know will not take you more than two hours? Yeah. Oh yeah. And so Caleb should oversee yeah. like how many hours he's willing to assign a person to a certain task. Yeah, exactly. Or mm -hmm. just say, give me two hours of footage or two hours of yeah. your time, and let me see what I get for the two hours. Exactly. And you'll know whether you're getting bang for your yeah, buck exactly. or not. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. It's easy to tell exactly. someone's dragging their feet or not. Mm -hmm. Right. And do do you, do, you us, do you want us to come up with an hour or some. Why don't, why don't we give you some a general parameter now? Yep. And then we'll come back at the next meeting and, and we can figure out if it worked or not. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because I, I mean I know of a couple people that might be that might be interested in doing some some freelance stuff. So. Yeah. So what do you say? I motion that Caleb be allowed to pay seventeen dollars an hour? It'd be more the committee. I mean it would be whatever, just it would be a motion that you guys say, okay. Like what we did for the meeting is like you guys set a motion that uh, willing to pay a person to cover meeting sixty dollars a meeting, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, and then per meeting. So you could do hourly, you could do, you know, whatever. Even if you did, I mean, yeah. If you did twenty bucks an hour, I don't know. Who was there? I mean, I mean, I wouldn't pick up a camera for under thirty bucks an hour. But yeah, that's just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like I think that, like, I think you know, between fifteen and twenty is probably fair. I think, especially if they know what they're doing. And what's the, and what's the total amount you think you you're looking for? Per project. Yeah, which is and let's go for the go for a month. Let's say 
you know, for the month, for the month of July. Uh, month uh, why did you say how many hours you could put? Because you could talk about multiple people. Yeah. So you could authorize so, uh, 18 an hour, 20 an hour, 15 an hour, whatever it is, yeah. and approve up to 100 hours for the summer? Yeah. 100 body hours? It would be divided by so many No, yeah. however he wants to, to spread the, 100 hours out. Correct. And yeah. see what you, when you're getting close to running out of 100 hours, we will be meeting again, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's 2,000 that's two thousand bucks, 100 If you did that 20 bucks an hour, or if you did it 17, you know, whatever, it's really not that much money for what you I think a monthly. Let, let, me, let me suggest this. Um, let's, let's, give a, let's give a range of like 15 to 20 dollars. Depending upon the, the, the person's uh, skills. Skills. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Um, you know. Because, because yeah. certainly, if you, if you have somebody who's very skilled, they know how to shoot, this is going to require a minimum amount, amount of editing for you, or they know how to edit their own piece as well. Yeah. I mean, that's that saves more money in the, in the long oh, run. Oh, for sure. So, um, yeah, depending upon the level of skills, 15 to $20 an hour, um, look, at do, look at doing it, um, you know, at... Um, you know, uh, with the two thousand dollar budget. Yeah, I mean that's good, and then we can see what we can do. And then, turn and then we'll put, we'll, we'll, you know, if you if you want to kind of give us a general good. outline of, of how you think it's going to happen, uh -huh. and then and then we'll we'll meet again in early August. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you, and, you, and you, if you have a fourteen year old, you're not going to pay him twenty dollars an hour. For yeah, I right. can talk into things like this. And teacher, is this some recent grads and training to buy a gift? That's her, Sarah, Sarah, she's, she's unbelievable. So. She's unbelievable. I know what Market Basket pays here for the employees. They pay, yeah. Market Basket starts at minimum wage and yeah. then they go up pretty quickly, actually. Yeah. They, they do yeah. well. But in the summer, like now, they have a lot of young, yeah. quite young people. So, I mean, it, this is good money for summer. If you're, if you're just come. in the summertime. Yeah. So, if we could find Do you want me yeah. to email Sarah and see Mother? Sure. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. And the thing is, even if you did, yeah, so we could all sorts of stuff. So I have lots of ideas. So you can pay different people different rates. Yeah. Depending on their yeah. knowledge and skill. Yeah. Age, discrimination, 14. <laughs> well, and complexity of the task, if all they have to do is turn it on and stand there. And then, yeah. But that's not what he's hiring anybody to do. Because yeah. you're not going to walk away from an event, you know, yeah. right? And you better, that's. Yeah. So it's going to be, I mean, because I want to. Even if I have somebody out, like a second shooter, come out with me doing these clamming videos or doing the whatever, you know what I mean? It makes it so much more interesting yeah. when you have a second second shooter with anything. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's the other thing. It's hard to to think because it's definitely better. The power of numbers definitely helps a lot as well. Like just sitting here. You know? So, um, how, how about a how about a motion that that says something to the effect that. Uh, we authorize an expenditure of, of $2,000 to, to be spent for approximately the next five weeks, month, um, for um, paying people 15 to $20 an hour to produce um, commit community videos yep. that, that will air on, uh, on, on our uh, joint community government channel. Sounds good. So moved. Yeah, that would be good. Second. Well, he's seconded, so. So we, uh, let's do this. This would be, this is going to be awesome. So Second. We, can, we can give it a fair shot and see what happens. Yeah. You're um, a little right? Yeah. I'll see Any further more. discussion? Second. Ellie. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Eyes all around. Cool. Thank you, guys. So, um, th think of this. Think of this also as a pilot program and, and tell you the people that are getting paid. This is a pilot program. We're experimenting with this. Mm -hmm. We you know we're gonna we're gonna look at see how much how much product we get yeah. as a as a result of Oh for of sure. Paying. That'd be good. Yeah, this would be awesome. I think right. we can definitely do something. And, Sarah and, might actually have other people that you know that she Yeah, that'd be awesome. We nice to get like a whole crew of people to do different things. Yeah, and just kind of um, if if you can keep in mind the different sections of the town, different 
types of activities going on. I mean, the yeah. more the more it reflects Newbury, the better. Yeah, for sure. That's what community programming is all about. Yeah. And the last item we had on our agenda was what we do for community events. Check. Check. Um, do we have any other requests that have come in for for anyone coming to us saying, hey, I have this event, do you want to cover it? No, I, I get stuff from the library once in a while. Okay. Uh, and um, are we showing any, any more, or do we have any uh, shared programming, bicycle programming that, that's... Uh, yeah, I download a bunch of stuff, or I get stuff from the report once in a while. Or, okay. Or Woody, or I always get stuff from Woody. Like, a lot of educational things, but I also you know, try to get stuff from local Massachusetts towns. Okay. Um, in, in an effort to... Uh, Educate all of us. Can you can you um, can you shoot us an email? Yeah. Give giving us an idea of of the of the kind of things you get and um, do we want to see about doing more of that? Do we want to reach out at all? What to other communities about about get putting yeah. more programming on? That's you know. Yeah, I can contact like Newsberry. And, and I guess one of, one, of, one of the things that, that I'm looking towards is as, as we have to start to make some decisions about um, where we want to go with community access and how much our viewers out there have an interest in this, um, if, if they haven't been exposed to, to what community access is, which may mean showing them things going on in other communities, they, they may not have a good idea of, of, of what can be done here. Uh -huh. So if there's, um, I mean obviously we, we want to show things that are going to be of interest to people, but if, if we can also use this time period to start to demonstrate the kind of value the community programming has to other communities, you know, it, it, that may help us, you know, in, in, in just getting a more educated feedback from people as to, as to what they'd like to see Newbury do. Mm -hmm. So okay. just something to keep in mind. Okay. What else? Adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Do we want to debate that? <laughs> debate motions to adjourn. All in favor? 